Hello everybody. In this screencast, we're going to look at how to solve this uh, exam. So it's a midterm exam, which is a, a three screen application where you uh, you have three APIs. The first API gets you a list of products. You display them in the first screen. And this is a list view. Right? You can change it to recycler view if you want to, but this is a list view. So there is an API it comes back with some JSON array of products and you're displaying them here. And then you click on one of these products. You go here. There is another API which gets you the reviews. So basically it gives you the review, there is a date when it's was made, and there is a star rating, right? Okay. And then there is a create review where you go in. So these are two get requests most probably. And then the last one is a uh, post request where you enter a review, pick what uh, star rating you want to give, and you click submit, and that review is created. All right. So uh, you have a starter app, and basically it starts to, you go to the product screen as it starts. So basically I'm going to go in, and there is a products fragment. If you look at the Gradle, I already added in the Gradle, I already added, I don't need the emulator for the time being, I already added for you uh, the OK HTTP and the Picasso library. The Picasso library, we're going to mainly use it to display these pictures. I also added the internet permission. So if you go here under the manifest, there is already the internet permission added. This is all in the starter code that's provided for this assignment. So basically, I want to go to the products fragment. I ask myself, do I send it any information? No. So basically, I'm going to... Uh, get support fragment manager get support fragment manager dot begin transaction uh, dot commit and then basically i'm going to add add um, or um, add and it's r dot id dot root view and i'm going to add to it a new products fragment so basically here is the products fragment go to the products fragment and i don't need all this code you know, all the code that is related to creation of passing data and so on. I'm not passing it any data. So here is the this, and I don't need all of this also. And similarly, I don't even need the onCreate. I also added for you the binding. There is a list of products. Now let's parse. So in order to parse, there is a Postman file. Here is the Postman file that is uh, included in this assignment. Now here it is. This is Postman. And let's say I would like to import. I drag and drop the, the JSON file. Here it is. And import. It's called products. Import it. Here's the products. Here's the first API call, which is get products. Click send. And here's the products. Now, when you look at it, you, you get the products. Uh, you get an array. You actually, basically, first you get a JSON object. Inside it, there is a products array and it's an array of products each product has a product id name url and description i'm going to copy that in a little bit but this is the url now this is a get call you see here it's a get request so basically i know that i'm going to go and write the code to get the products so basically i'm going to say get uh, private void get uh, products right here it is and basically i'm going to write the code so i go to ok http i need a client I know that I'm going to need a client. Here's the client. And let's import it. Uh, options enter. Import the class. Here's the client. And now I just need to create the request. The request doesn't have any parameters. When you look at it in Postman, there's no parameters. It's a get request with no parameters. This is my URL. Let, let's copy the URL here. We're going to need it. And now how do I make a URL uh, a, a request? Here's a request. Here it is. And then... Uh, Options, import the class, here it is. And then this is my URL, okay. And here we are, we're good here. I have get products, and then basically I'm going to do client, client dot new call, I pass it the request, dot in queue, new, and callback. So basically here we are. Here we can just, uh, let's, for the time being, I'm going to do e dot print track trace just to see if there is a problem. And then here we check to see if, the response the response is successful and else it's not successful so now if it's successful what i'm going to do is i'm going to try to parse it right so basically in order to parse i know that when you look at this json it comes in as a json object you see here it's a json object inside it there is a product json array this is all boilerplate code we wrote this before string body equals response dot body dot string that's the body and then i have a json object i'll call it maybe json object equal new json object and i'm going to pass it the body here we are now it needs a try catch block 
and here is surround by try catch here we are so we're good here we have the json object now we can get the json array json array which is the uh, json array this is the array of products equals json object dot get json array and its name is products products which is exactly what we had here like for example you see it's called products okay now uh, for i okay i equal to zero i less than json array dot length and now inside the json array i would like to get a, each json object this is one json object let me copy that so basically i have a json object i'll call it json uh, let's call it a, a product json object equals json array json array the json array that we have dot get json object at index i that's a json object so now i have the json object i'd like to create a product out of it so if you look at the product there is a constructor where you pass it a json object and then it creates a product so basically i can do it like this i can do it like this a product product equal new product and pass it the product json object okay so we can do something like that and then ultimately when it's done i could do m products dot add the product right so now let's go and parse so now this is straightforward i already passed the json object here so now i go here and this is what the json object looks like right? this is what it looks like and basically now i could do this dot pid equals json dot oops, the json that's coming in dot get string and it's pid all right here it is it's not happy because this could uh, throw an exception so i'm going to just add here it adds the throw exception to the method so this is the uh, pid similarly what else is there so i'm just gonna cut and paste now so here is the name also here's the name the image url is the image url the price the description and the view count okay cool so i have parsed the the product based on uh, this here you see here i called the variables to match the same names as this so that it makes it easier as the json so that it makes it easier for me when i'm parsing so here we are we're in now um you have the products we can do a run just to see if things are working right so basically we have the products uh now let's look at how to do this uh custom array adapter which is supposed to be very straightforward also so let's see <clears throat> so we're here we know that this page is we're going to come back to this page at some stage get products is here this is the method now i'm going to call it here i'm going to call it maybe get products somewhere at the bottom of this and what i'm going to do also is let's do this let me move this a little bit down so that to organize my code a little bit let go here let me put it at the bottom here all right so here it is now what i also would like to do is when you go in when you are here i am going to do the following i'm going to do m products dot clear right because we're going to push stuff on the back stack when you come back we're going to call this method again so we'll this will call the get products again and that causes an issue because if you don't clear it it will reload it with new and then you will have more products and so on right so it will append to the list so to avoid that we're going to do this now get products this is our get products now if we run this and let's say we put a breakpoint somewhere here let's do a log d here and put a breakpoint here all right i put a breakpoint here i run the app and here's the emulator let's see so it's going in and it does stop here it is and if you look at this if you look at uh, this m products it has six and this is one of the products you see i'm getting the data you see parsing is supposed to be very straightforward you know i uh, i, I the, the the there is no tricks at all in the parsing so anyway so we are able to get the data now let's build our adapter so okay so now let's build a custom adapter so basically to cre create the custom adapter what i'm going to do is i'm going to do this i'm going to create a class i'll call it for example uh, products adapter extends an array adapter of of what of product all right here is the array adapter it goes here ask me what do you want to do 
create a constructor the constructor I want should have a list in it so basically it's this one mm -hmm. it has a list of objects and then I know the, the famous method that we will use for the uh, let me just put some uh, breakpoints here so that you could this to center it on the screen now we'll do it like this get view this is the method right this is again very much boilerplate code if you look at the videos that we have for this basically you have a convert view and what we're going to do is we're going to return the convert view at the end of the day now we check to see if convert view is equal to null then we need to inflate it so basically we'll say convert view equals oh let's use the inflator let's use the uh, let's use the uh, binding approach so anyway we go here this is the layout we are interested in row item okay and i want to inflate that row item which has a picture has some text so i already have this layout for you to use right so now i'm going to use the binding so basically its name is row item product binding okay i'll call it for example this is the row let's call it row binding right equals new equals row binding row item row item binding dot inflate uh, get inflator comma uh, parent comma false that's how we do this one so let me just double click so that you could see most of the screen here all right here we are i have that row binding now the convert view now will be equal to row binding dot get root right that's the convert view and then convert view dot set tag to the uh, row binding all right so here we are so now i'm gonna move this variable a little bit I'll, i'm gonna define it here <coughs> right and i'm gonna set it here right so if it's null it's like this else <coughs> row binding uh, equals convert view dot get tag so basically again this is all boilerplate code mm -hmm. <coughs> all right so we are here we got the row binding why am i using row binding because i can do this product okay i can get the product uh, product product equal get item get item get item at position so that's this is the product that i would like to visualize here and then basically now it's just a matter of populating the data so basically i want to put the name of it so basically i could do uh, row binding row binding dot uh, text view name dot set text uh, product dot dot get name uh, product product.get name so basically i can do stuff like this it's much easier with using uh binding so basically i'll have this this and this so basically i have the product name text view the description so i'll get, say get the description text view uh price get price so basically the price is a number and we want to add to it some dollars so here's a dollar okay so that's the price so i got the price and then the reviews uh, get the review count get review count and i'm gonna say reviews and this is text view dot get reviews and here we go so basically here we are and now to show the picture the picture is coming in as a url there is a url that's coming in here is the URL and it's called image URL and basically I want to display the image so I will use Picasso here is Picasso it's one line you see the code is just one line I copy that and I paste it here Picasso options enter import the class you give it the URL here where is the URL the URL is uh, product dot get image URL here is the URL and then it needs an image view where is the image view row binding dot image view icon that's the image view that I would like to present and this is my code right so basically this is the code this is the custom adapter that's it so now go in and in here I'm going to say okay this is the adapter I'll call it adapter here I'll initialize the adapter adapter equal new product adapter and it needs the context so get activity the resources are dot layout dot um row item product right this is the one and then the objects are what are the m products right so these are the objects right and then binding dot uh, list view dot set adapter to adapter 
and then go get the products <clears throat> so now what we also need to do in get products is that when you are done here we need to uh, notify the adapter that the data has changed so basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to get activity dot run on ui thread new runnable because i need to run it on the main thread and what i'm going to do is i'm going to say adapter dot notify data set has changed all right so now when we run this all right here it is we have the items right here it is we have the items we have the description we have the reviews we need a little bit of space between reviews and the number let's put a space here it is here it is we have the reviews we have the description we have the images and everything all right good so now uh, let's have a look at what needs to happen when i need to be able to click when i click i need to go to the next screen okay and put the other one on the back stack so now in order to do that i need to set up the on click listener for the on item click listener for the um, on item click listener for the list view all right so here it is binding dot list view dot set on item click listener new on item click listener all right so i can get the product that i picked here is the product equals m products m products got get at position that's the product right now i need to send it so basically what i need to do is i need to communicate with the activity so now here we are boilerplate code uh, i'm going to do maybe i can turn on github copilot right now i go in here i go uh, interface right i'm gonna say uh, product uh, products let's say products listener right and then on product selected good i'm gonna pass a product good here it is and then let's do uh, the adapter so basically i create copy this m listener here it is and then the on attach and then the on attach there is boilerplate code here it is yes m listener context and so on so i'm good here and then basically what i'm going to do when you click i'm just going to do m listener dot on product selected and i click on a product okay cool so that's this now i need to make sure that the activity implements that interface so let's copy the interface and we'll do implements here's the interface and basically this is the method and then boom okay cool so now i have the product i need to send that product to the product details fragment right so if you go here not the product details the, pro the reviews fragment that's where i need to go and i'm going to send it a product so basically i know that one argument is going to be a product right so i'm going to rename that product and copy this from here to here so i know there is one parameter that i'm going to send is going to be a product a product and i'm going to call it m product here it is okay cool so I, didn't, I don't need the second parameter oops all right here it is I don't need the second parameter i have the product code here also don't need this code here oops i'm i'm dating quickly so i don't need these comments i don't need this just clean up my code a little bit so that looks a little bit appealing and easier to understand all right so i don't need all of that stuff also i need here i'm going to send you a product so this is going to be a product right and i'm going to call it let's say product and basically arg1 product and this is going to be uh, product and i'm not going to put a string i'm going to put serializable right so it's an object and we delete this stuff and then similarly here m product equal get arguments dot get serializable and here is arg product here is the product and we're back here and cast to product so we have our product cool so now if we go back to the main activity now what we need to do is get support fragment manager dot begin transaction dot uh, replace by r dot id dot root view with reviews fragment with the product dot add to backstack add to backstack and then commit all right so here we are so we 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 pass on the product to the next screen and we go from there so basically we go in here and um it's exactly the same uh, idea but anyway so here is on create view and then we have on view created on view on view created we're in here basically all the code i wrote is just to pass the product to this screen i'm in this is the product now when i am here i need to call another api and basically that other api is called the uh, product review and basically this is the url and this is the product id 
click on send and it gives you the reviews for that product id and it's exactly the same code meaning you see here it's, a, it's an array of reviews so i can what i could do is i could copy the code i had here with get product products copy that and in the reviews i am going to call it paste it here and i'm going to call it get reviews get reviews so i renamed it right go here see why it's not happy yeah we'll figure out why it's not happy in a little bit but i know that i'm going to call this here somewhere here is this and i'm going to call it somewhere here so get reviews right now the url is a little bit different the url is this and i need the product id so here is the url right and instead of this long number i need the product id where is the product id i already have the product so basically m product get get product id pid get the pid which is the product id so here is the product you get the product id and you have your url it's a get request see it's exactly the same no other parameters good so now we're here now we're gonna clear the m reviews you clear the m reviews we're going in there is uh, an uh, a json object inside it there is a reviews array instead of a products array it's going to be a reviews array and we're going over them and then uh, we are get going in and getting this okay so basically instead of a product we're going to create a review a review and i'm going to call it review and here is the review here is the review and you pass it the json object same story so i'm going to call it the review let's call this one also review all right so i'm just using the same code it's exactly the same code but near instead of m products it's going to be m reviews and i'm going to add to it the review all right and i'm going to have an adapter and do the same story again right notify that it has changed but the code for getting the data is exactly the same now i have to go into the review object and do the parsing so now let's comment out this is the review object what it looks like and basically i'm going to do the same thing so this dot review uh, equals uh, JSON object got dot get get string and the string is called review and now we go here and I add an exception so that's the review control C and control V so basically uh, this one is the rating here's the rating 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 created at and created it and that is all the JSON parsing you have to do for this assignment that's it so basically it is JSON parsing I got the review now I close this and I don't need the products fragment anymore don't need this don't need this here we are now uh, I have the review now to test out if this is working or no I put a breakpoint here I'm calling the method here and let's run it so let's run it in debug mode all right here we are and then we are here okay I pick this app go to the next screen here is the breakpoint and if you look at this and here's this if you look at the reviews there are 245 reviews popular item here it is and here's the data I'm able to get created at rating and review cool so I'm able to get all the three items now let's go and build the the custom adapter same exact code so basically the custom array adapter so basically here class I'll call it review review adapter extends uh, array adapter of type review of reviews here it is here we are and it asks you to add a constructor the constructor I'm going to pick is this one that has a list here it is and then same story so let's do this a little bit so that you have space and center this on the screen all right here we are get review get view all right here's the code for get review get view and in get view we are going to return the convert view right here it is we're going to return this convert view and the code will be exactly the same you check this it is boilerplate code convert view is equal to null and then I'm, I'm going to use binding again so basically i'm going to call it the uh, item binding and the binding for what for the review row item okay so basically i'm going to create review row item review no, row row review row item review binding okay and i'm going to draw item review binding here it is and basically what i'm going to do is uh, this guy is equal to get inflator dot inflate no no not like this i'm going to use the uh, row binding okay get inflator 
comma parent comma false right that's this one and then the convert view equal to the root and then convert view set tag to this and then i have an else statement to this to get it by tag right now good so we are good here now get the review review get the item at position it's exactly the same code as we wrote before and now just it's a matter of just displaying the data so basically uh row item binding dot image view we'll look at the image view in, in in a little bit but row item binding dot row item binding dot text view this is the review dot set text which is the review dot get review row item binding rating equal to this yeah the rating is an image so basically it's an image and basically that image can be one two three or four so basically what we could do is let me just disable this from completions now we can do this if the uh, review dot rating get rating uh, equals uh, one right we'll do something and then what are we going to do is the uh, row item binding image view dot set image set resource set image resource r dot drawable dot one star so there are these images that I we provided, you know, if you look at them here, you know, one star is one star image, right? And so on, right? So that's this. And then you get an else if, else if, else if, else if, right? So basically, if it's a one, we'll do this. If it's a two, three, four, and five. And so this is two, there's three and here is four and here is five so basically we are done with the images right so now we should show the image and then the date when things happen so basically uh, row item binding dot text view date dot set text to uh, review dot get created at. so basically that's that's the review item binding so we are done with the get view and this is the custom adapter that's it let me copy that from here Control c go back here and now if we go here um we create an adapter so basically the adapter i'll call it adapter here we are and then basically i'm going to do adapter here is adapter equal new 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 review adapter review adapter get activity sorry get activity comma r dot layout dot uh, review item and then this is the m reviews the reviews that we are going to add and then binding dot list view dot set adapter to adapter so here we are and then we go and ask it to do get reviews now they're asking us to display this information the name the price and the image this is also very straightforward so basically what i will do is it's binding dot uh, text view the product name dot set text set text to m product dot get name that's the name of the product binding dot text view the price of the product set text m product dot get price and basically we add a dollar sign to it just to show it's x dollars right here it is here they are and then the image exactly the code we had from uh picasso so basically i go back to the products fragment go back to the uh, to the adapter we had a we had a picasso here here it is Control c close that I'm going to do that here and then this is going to be m product and then this is binding dot uh, binding dot image view product icon so basically here it is i'm going to display the these three lines these three lines are five points in the meter five points <laughs> all right and they repeat twice you know so you can easily get these points you know but anyway so uh, we uh, are things looking okay i think also when we are doing get reviews we need to update the adapter so basically let's make sure that we are doing that notify the data that the data has changed and we're good to go right okay so now let's run this and see mm -hmm. here we are i pick this one and it shows me these and you can see all the reviews why all of them are five stars it seems somebody was really nice and busy giving this item five stars let's pick another one it's still showing five stars so let me have a look here are all of them five stars yes there are a lot of five no there aren't there's something wrong with my rating code all right let's see uh so that's this one the, this is the first product or the second product let's see the products 
let's copy the ID control C reviews and let's do a control V here control V click on send 4421 so there's something wrong in my code all right good so hi and this is this is a good product you know a lot of them are this is a good product but where is high hmm okay so we go here yeah this is a good product this is a good product this is a good product and there were ones too so let's scroll down and see why it's not working let's we'll have a look and see okay so this is this this is here reviews go to the adapter and see what did we do wrong here get oh it's not get review this is get rating right get the rating right it's the rating right so get rating get rating get rating get rating get rating and then we run it again and you will see the stars all right here we are we click here and you can see the stars changing right okay cool so now that's how we do this right now there's a button here this is the create review so let's go and change it in the layout so fragment reviews and here we are attributes we go here okay go cool. so click this string value okay cool so here we are this is the button button create review okay cool so now we go back here now with button create review we do that where we do it inside the uh, on view created here's on view created binding dot button set on click listener new on click listener and then basically here we need to go to the main activity and send it uh, send it the product right okay good so now we need it I enabled completions because I know that I'm going to need it here so here it is so create review right create review you send it a product we need to send it a product right review listener right or call it reviews listener right here it is right and then basically I also need the M listener right here it is M listener right here we are on attach and then we wait a little bit and here we are this is the autocomplete code it's all again it's boilerplate code so i'm not going to spend time talking about this now when you click i'm going to go here i'm going to say create a review and i'm going to send it the product okay now the main activity sim story needs to implement this one also okay review listener go here implement the methods and boom right now it's going to do the same thing create review i need to send it the product all right i need exactly the same way i need to send it that product so i'm going to do the same code so basically uh, uh create a review fragment i'm going to send it a product so what i could do i can copy the code from the reviews see here in the reviews i already have this code here let me copy this from here you have to be a little bit careful but let me copy all of this code from here but you have to be careful but let's see so i'm gonna do this i'm gonna go here and paste this code here right I have a product i don't need this constructor this is the constructor for the reviews and i will need the on create i already have an on create here so let's remove this stuff from here right i will remove the on create also all right remove this stuff also which i don't need and i don't need this stuff also here this is the empty constructor and this one should return this type uh, fragment the on create gets you a product here's the product goes in same story i just i know i'm gonna use the same code right so uh create fragment the new instance returns the create fragment da -da -da, and the product is coming in as serializable and we're good to go so basically we are here now it's happy now why is it not why is it complaining here uh let's see did i mess up something what did i do here yeah you see the problem is these autocompletes they mess up sometimes so i'll cut this from here and then there is an extra bracket it seems what is going on okay yeah now it's happy all right good so that's the code here we are we are going to go to the create review 
and we'll see how it goes so now we're good here now when we click it will go to the go, go review so now when you run this let's see this is the reviews fragment okay and this is the emulator you pick this one goes here you click on create review it goes here right so now the code for this is straightforward to get you the text and all of that stuff is straightforward I'll just copy the same code three lines five points okay so go back again this is the create review fragment and basically on view created here we are and paste and it works perfectly no problems I also have the same names and all of that stuff so we run it again emulator here we are click here shows you this create review shows you this same story right we already have this these these points now uh, entering a review clicking submit and all that stuff is straightforward also we need to figure out this button this everything happens when the button is clicked so i'll do binding dot uh, button submit dot set on click listener new on click list so that's the button right now from the button i can get the review string review text review text here it is so it's binding dot edit text review dot get text to string so that's the review text right now i need the radio button so basically i need to figure out integer right uh, selected rating right equal uh, binding dot radio group dot set dot get checked item right so that's the id right and it's see it's pre-checked to be the first one right so i could check now, now to see if so let's say rating equal to let's say rating equal to five to start with right and then basically i could do if the selected rating is equal to r dot id dot radio group level one radio group level two radio group level three these are the ids of the radio group see i i pick these names to make it easier for you radio group number five right so basically these are the ratings you know i already have a rating now right so i have the ratings i have the ratings i have the text that the user has entered right now i can check to see if there's if the uh, review is empty then what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a toast right so i'm going to do a toast get activity and then uh, please enter a review that's the validation that's a couple of points also i think this is like five points or something right so this is it if everything is good now it's time to submit the review right so now to submit the review it's a post request right so basically it's a post request so what i could do is i could add i could have the code here so that's fine so basically now it's a post request i want to get a uh, client first of all right let me copy this just the client i'm not going to copy all the code i just need a client here's the client here's how you get a client into your code right here's a client here it is right on a khtp client now i need to submit so basically i go back to here and i go back to recipes and what i'm doing is i am posting a form so posting a form with parameters in java and this is how you add the parameters and this is how you make the request cool so i'm going to copy this i'm going to go here I'm gonna go here and I need a request body import this class and import this class let's have a look and see what are the requirements to make a review so now we go here this is the URL let me copy that so here is my URL just for the sake of completion here I have my URL okay here it is I have the URL now let's have a look at what are the parameters there is a pid this is the this is the product id okay this is the pid how do i get it i already have passed the product here and product dot get pid so i have the product id what else do i need i need all right so now we also add these so basically there is a parameter called review and that's the text that the user has entered right this is the review and then there is rating there is rating which is a number from one to five which we can guarantee it's from one to five here and that's called rating so i already have these the form right now let's do the request uh client dot new call we pass it the request right dot now let me just uh, disable this uh, completions dot in queue new callback so basically that's exactly what we did here 
Now uh, on failure, I'm just gonna print to press tag trace e dot print tag trace. Here we are. Now I could check to see if it's successful uh, or if it's not successful. So now we could so if e, uh, request response is successful, then everything went well. Else it's not successful. So now if it's successful, what I'm going to do is here I could say it's not successful. I'm just going to do. I'm not gonna do some anything here. But if it's successful, what I'm going to do is. I am going to go back. I need to go back. So in order to go back, I need to do this. In order to go back, I need an interface. So now that's why I'm going to turn on completions. Need something to help me here. Enable completions, right? An interface, and I'm going to call it create review on review created, right? And then basically, <coughs> uh, create review listener. Okay, M listener on attach and um, here it is good 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 so now when we are done if things are working fine i'll go in and say get activity dot run on ui thread new runnable m listener dot review created and we're good to go all right cool so basically what i'm doing is when you click the button i'm going in creating the data figuring out which one did you pick and posting it you know this is how you do a post request passing some parameters and then if everything goes well i'm gonna go back right and now let's go back to the activity and set up this uh create review listener and go here implement the methods on review created and i'm just gonna pop the back stack that's basically what i'm going to do let's run it and see when you pop the back stack it goes back to the reviews fragment the review fragment refreshes all right and it displays it so let's go and pick the, the bottom uh, one here api api it seems somebody is busy doing this and go create a review let's say uh, testing and i'm gonna pick uh, five so basically i'm very satisfied click that testing five five stars and go back testing four stars okay and submit and here is four stars okay create a review testing let's say one star right and i click that click submit and testing one one star perfect so we are able to create these reviews i can go back shows this you go here and these are the reviews and you could see that we are able to create the reviews this is technically <laughs> the the midterm so basically you click submit this is the validation part we are just checking to see if if uh, you submitted uh, uh, entered something or no and that's it that's basically what the api uh, the parsing is mainly the only parsing is the first screen and the second screen and the parsing is, is exactly the same if you look at it the parsing mechanism is exactly the same uh, the the x the, the the json that's coming back is very flat you know there is no it's just you go in, you get the products, and then everything, el everything, all the parameters or all the attributes are at the same level, right? All right. So please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.